Hey guys, I'm JMac. This is Raid Shadow Legends, and today we are pulling shards for a Pythion event. And they made it a horrible 49.25. I know a lot of other people are mad about that. Ridiculous. But I've got enough voids and sacreds that I'm gonna pull everything I have just to have fun. And uh, it should put me 57, 60, I believe, somewhere around in here. And then I can finish off mysteries to get my rank five chicken because chickens are still important to me. Um, I don't get to just sit and play all day. So anytime I can pick up a five star chicken, busting out a few more mystery shards, I'd be fine. I could probably just get the five shards for Pythion and be totally okay with the event. I've been on track with it, but I'll just go ahead and get it done that way something comes up next few days or uh something happens i don't lose python because i really really want him so void shards um sacreds we have no boost it's still a 0.5 percent on voids six percent chance on sacreds and i'd like to get this dude right here he looks really really cool and seems like he'd be super fun to play with but i'm not gonna spend money to get him um, we'll do these one at a time. Viscerator, sorry about that. I had a phone message I need to look at. Um, Viscerator, I've got a level 40. I just haven't really done anything with. I only leveled up to 40 because of uh, the awakening that I had. Uh, let's get all the rares out that way when I get my sacreds I can have golds which actually I'd love to get a few more legendary void champions harrier always nice to have in the collection not really paragon a uh, super useful champ in certain situations I had to use him to do the nightmare Last dude, more than macabre, I believe. But I'm really looking for man eater. I don't have man eater. Oh my goodness, two harriers. Okay. Uh, but man eater, he was one of the 10 time chances if you get a uh, epic. And I'd like to get a couple of them just to play with for clan boss and a few other areas. My goodness gracious. All right. And we're going to have a blue party today. Another Paragon. And I'm sure there's been a few other of these rares that can be used in other places of the game. But they're none that I really messed with or have dealt with. Or I don't think any of them are really going to help my account right now. Can we at least get an epic? Fellhound's cool. Um, I use Bellower as my campaign farmer, but you can use Fellhound. Um, come on. Well, maybe I'm going to get something really awesome in my last shard. Bellower, one of my favorite rares. All right, three left. What can we do? Another eviscerator. Mm. And Stitch Beast. Last one. Well, at least I got an epic. What? Dryad Nia. Naya. She is new for me. They do such a good job making these champions. Half human, half tree, or she got tree armor on, I guess. What can she do? Attacks all enemies. Um, that can get bumped up 50% chance of placing a 30% decrease speed for two turns. That's not bad. An AoE that does decrease speed. 
Um, wish it got up a little higher, but 50% chance isn't bad at all. The A2, it can go down to a three turn cooldown, removes all debuffs from a target ally, then heals them by 40% of the max HP. The target of the skill is not this champion, decreases the cooldown of all the target skills by two turns. Huh. That's pretty cool. Then the A3 can go to a three turn cooldown. Does ally protect on all allies for two turns and places a 15% strengthen on allies for two turns. And the passive, whenever the champion is healed, heals each ally except this champion by 20% of that heal. So she will be an awesome support champion, a uh, defensive base, so easy to build out. She uh, will definitely help me with the Sylvan Watchers Faction Wars. And I'm pretty sure she's new. Yeah, let me double check here. So she'll help me in Faction Wars. Um, I'm sure there's other parts of the game she would be super, super useful. It's just I've got other healers and cleansers that I use. But uh, that and uh, probably, you know, some Duke Tower Secret Rooms, maybe. Alright, so not exactly what I was looking for, but new epic champion that I didn't have and somebody that will be useful. So, I think I'm alright with that. Get the big boys. Alright. Luria. I believe I have her because I think I remember the red eyes. She looks pretty sick. Sepulcher Sentinel. I think she is a dupe for me. I haven't done anything with her. I think I got her a month or so ago and I'm working on leveling her up. All right. Atur. Haven't really messed with him. Uh, Quargon. I haven't really used him anywhere. Just want one legendary. Old Gruckus. I believe he is new for me. Alright, let's see what he does. Attacks one enemy three times. Has a chance of placing a leech for two turns. Attacks one enemy, can place a decreased speed, and it can also decrease turn meter. So that can book up to 100% chance and three turn cooldown. Then the A3 attacks all enemies, 80% chance that books up to 100, can place a decreased attack and heal reduction. Uh, Alright, I wish that... I'd rather that be a AOE putting a leech down, but okay. Not bad, not just super amazing. Last one, can I get some gold? Can I get something? <sighs> Luthia, Luthia, Luthia. High elf, I don't need any more high elves right now. So, kind of a boss, kind of not really. I mean, got two new epic champions. One I know I'll definitely be able to use. No legendaries. That's all right. They're not every legendary is amazing, but I would love to have gotten some of the void Legos that I don't have. So let's go in here. And pick up my goodies. So I get some energy, anniversary points, fragments of after a Lego book. Pull some mystery shards, get my chicken. And let's see, it may be worth doing all my mysteries to get. Do I have 600, 400, 500? Yeah. I do mystery shards and then get the other Lego book. Alright guys, well, I hope if you're pulling shards that you had better luck than I did. Well, we got one of those. Let's see what happens. Oh. 
It's just going to be a blue day just about for everything I do. Okay. Hope you have better luck than I did, which, like I said, for the amount of shards I had, I mean, you can't always expect amazing God tier champions every single pull. Um, I feel like it's okay. It's always a little disappointing to go through, you know, that many and not get just something totally, totally amazing. But I am pretty hyped about the uh, Epic Champion. Yeah, I know I'm horrible about closing sometimes, but I'm going to look at her one more time. Where is she? Right there. Uh, I'm pretty excited to build her out because I know she's going to be super, super helpful. I just, Faction Wars, you need healers getting through there. You need cleansers. So she'll be super important for me. So that was nice to get. Anyways, hope you get something that is either new or something you're going after. And I hope you all have a very blessed day. And we'll see you next time. Bye.